Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me here for your reading. So if you're already acquainted with the channel, you know what time it is, we're going to open up with the astral travel messages. If you're new, this is where I connect directly to spirit to anchor down predictions for events that have already unfolded in your life, ones that could currently be occurring, and then we'll go ahead and see what awaits you on this timeline ahead as we overlay this with the tarot. Now that being said Aquarius, this is really about the galactic federation wanting you guys to know that you are about to start triggering certain individuals okay especially people operating on particular planes of consciousness as you begin to do the work and shift timelines and a lot of you are creating a lot of conscious deaths during this time conscious endings when it comes to your involvement with people things and places that no longer serve you okay that you're no longer in a vibrational resonance with and people can feel you pulling away energetically, right? They can feel you evolving and going through this process of elimination to be able to access higher timelines. And they are very envious of this. They are very intimidated by this. They don't know what to expect from you. They're trying to understand and get the inside scoop in regards to how you're even able to do this in the first place. And your light is definitely irritating a lot of people during this time. Now, with that being said, I had this uh, actual travel for you on the 20th of June, 2023 and it's the theme around it is all about skinwalkers being at school okay and you guys being spiritually protected around this now classrooms in the metaphysical realm always set the scene and setting towards lessons okay that have taken place between you and you know other beings okay um other people and again some of you this is some kind of soul contract that you could have with extraterrestrial beings interdimensional beings uh to really assist you on your awakening journey and awakening is not changing who you are right because again you are just a fragmented piece of source energy experiencing yourself subjectively uh you know in this our school um but uh instead you are discarding everything that is almost like um limiting the journey of the choices that you're making right it's almost like anything or anyone that is now limiting your ability to evolve or your ability to continue on this path that your soul had intended uh to come here to experience right so it's almost like fate is now intervening in some way to make sure that you almost like maintain your vibration and continue on that path right so with that being said again this scene is skinwalkers that are in a classroom and they're disguised as teachers and they decide to show their true form to you so a lot of you again uh aquarius you definitely could have been dealing with you know certain people and um you know maybe there were one way one day and then you know change happened down the timeline and their true colors ended up re being revealed to you and um you know their lack of character ended up revealing itself these are individuals that shape shift so they like to put up some kind of fabricated image um or display themselves a particular way and you know again it's almost just like this um inflated maybe ego in a way maybe it's people that have this god complex uh people that have that authority of power and control but they it's just the illusion of it because they have this you know very little control internally and um you know again it's almost like they try to overcompensate that for that you know it's almost like you know um you know i think they call it small man syndrome or something um where people are just like you know they have to say well i'm the teacher or i'm the boss and i'm this like your presence alone you don't have to announce it your silence is its own transmission and oh boy aquarius is your silence deadly during this time so let's go ahead and begin Begin with the first scene and setting so you guys said school wasn't for you it was you uh actually now i'm thinking about it it was you guys in a classroom and it was in my um old school classroom and each of the uh school i guess like uh groups were named after planets and my one was neptune and now i'm thinking about a neptune is 12th house energy so this is actually a lot to do with the multi-dimensional realm a lot of you again we are more multi-dimensional than we are physical we're only about two percent physical so a lot of this is happening on an energetic basis a lot of you are again this is energy signatures that you can identify no matter uh what way they could disguise or dress themselves up as um and 12th house is all to do with past life connections so again some of you it's almost like people that you could have past life connections with you could be closing out these chapters and actually uh aquarius you guys do have the um full moon coming up in capricorn in on the 29th degree right the critical degree uh where you're finally closing out a lot of these chapters and closing out these cycles so that you can emerge as this new transformed version of self so yeah a lot of neptune energy a lot of illusions and again especially with neptune retrograding right now 
and Saturn, all the illusions are dissolving away. So I feel like we're really, you know, seeing through any illusions that I had, uh, again, almost like, again, fabricated themselves in a particular image, right? You're seeing the true nature of this reality and you're unveiling these eternal truths uh, by seeing things instead of just looking at them. So again, you said to this teacher, school's not for me, you know, school's out, I'm done with this, which is basically you guys saying, there's nothing more for me to learn in this uh, interaction with you. You know, I've already been able to identify who you are. I can acknowledge it no matter what form you may come dressed up as. Um, you know, I can I can see it from a mile away. I can feel it from a mile away and what I feel is real. And people, they don't know how to come at you now, you know? Um, so this uh, teacher, before you left the classroom, he did something, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, Aquarius, before you could have left this particular set of circumstances or disinvolved yourself from, again a particular scenario or circumstance you could have definitely received like clarification somebody reveal their true uh colors their true form to you right uh any kind of art of deception that was taking place under the moonlight you guys have come in like the sun right and you're almost shining those rays of truth on all that has been done in the dark that is coming to light. Maybe this is people's true intentions. Maybe this is people telling on themselves, you know? Um, it's almost like they felt like they had nothing to lose at that point. They felt like they were gonna lose you anyway. So you definitely could have seen and witnessed people acting up. Now, what he did is actually cut open his meat human suit and he emerged as this skinwalker, right? He emerged as somebody that was shape-shifting. It would look like a great alien, okay? It looked like things that operate in those lower planes of consciousness and, you know, the things that also occupy those realms and when you deal with again like humans for example that are operating in the lower planes of consciousness on an unconscious basis they are actually feeding into those other beings those other entities that occupy those lower realms and they can actually work through them so a lot of you are actually able to identify this okay now again this is the crisis that i'm talking to you are very spiritually evolved they're very aware of everything that i'm saying already this is just like clarification for you guys it's just like another day in the matrix you know um so yeah that you realize that the teacher was one so it almost gave you clarification around right i'm going to remove myself from this particular set of circumstances this is uh you know, it feels wrong, okay? It just feels like wrong to the soul. This is, again, somebody that is trying to come in and almost like divert you off of your path or they could even be like very envious of your path, right? And it's because you guys have uh, accepted almost like the shadow within yourself, right? And you know how to work with that shadow. Okay, so uh, the Skinwalker shows that, again, this is like unsettling feelings that you could have had around somebody. And it, again, is... Uh, characterized by the presence of a shape-shifting humanoid in this case and it also shows um that there is this need to like overcome any negative influences in your life which I feel like a lot of my crises are kind of doing again this is kind of again something that is just a given at this point and you saying school's not for you again is saying that you know I've been through this radio more than once you know it's not my first radio I've uh, dealt with people like you before even if that just comes up like dressed a little bit differently or fabricated a little bit differently I've mastered how to identify this particular energy signature when it does reveal itself to me no matter how it may be disguised and the uh, symbolic uh, nature or depiction of the teacher shows that this is people that come into your life and try to miss use or abuse their power over you okay it's people that have the illusion of authority over you and it's almost like they're trying to take your sovereignty away uh because they again are not aware of themselves being as a sovereign creator so they're actually self-serving parasites that have all these self-serving motives that come in and they almost again are like those energetic vampires um after this Aquarius you guys left the classroom and you went outside and there was like this wooden lift called a dumbwaiter I don't know if you've seen it in like those <laughs> scary horror movies um but you can even see them in some restaurants uh you know more of the old-fashioned ones um where you know they can send food or people can hide in them going up and down it's like the old Victorian houses you might have seen it on like I don't know if they have it on like um insidious or things of that nature um but maybe again this is something that was insidious in that way and you were kind of hiding in this dumbwaiter and you knew when to go up you knew when to go down you were always 10 steps ahead and you were almost looking at this from an astral point of view right it's like you were looking down on your human circumstances from like your higher self's perspective and it's like your higher self was narrating everything that was going down going gone or going down like you know aquarius they're walking this way uh you know when they come around this way you 
you know, just just at nine, when I say nine o'clock, just go up and, you know, you'll miss them. So I feel like you're quite literally dodging the devil in some way. And it's almost like you could, you you, you felt like you were being hunted or people were like after you in some way. Um, again, even if this is like in the multi-dimensional realm, but you have mastered the art of like navigating your way, not just through the physical constructs, but also again, the non-physical realm. So you felt so warm and comfortable in that dumb waiter, like just hiding in plain sight. So I feel like, again, it's like knowing that, well, we all live on the same world, but we don't all live on that same frequency. So there's something about like your frequency being so distant and there being such a large frequency gap that they've just become like a ghost or echo in another dimension where, you know, again, you may hear the echo sometime, uh, but it's just, you know, it's it's there, like it can't touch you. There's such a big gap there. And uh, you were thinking about how good their disguise was, right? Uh, once they kind of again had this disguise they were able to uh, close that frequency gap slightly or at least create an illusion of that but once you saw the true nature again it, it almost um disintegrated uh so the word of the dumbwaiter basically symbolizes you guys being susceptible to changes in your environment and embracing your authenticity and your authenticity is its own currency um it is again uh, very high vibrational in nature and because of that people are definitely going to be drawn towards your light again it's like a moth to the flame energy and the dumbwaiter also shows that again you could be looking for shortcuts which I feel like is my crisis thinking smarter instead of working hard as you do deal with these individuals and it's your subconscious mind trying to get a better understanding in regards to why you do the things you do because maybe from a human perspective you know these people again they could put up a very good, great act a great very very great facade I'll give you an example somebody that comes into your life and like love bombs you right and then you know they kind of retract that energy eventually once they kind of have you wrapped around their finger a lot of you could have dealt with people like this in the past and um it is no more you know you can you can really just see people for what they are I won't even say who they are um so again it does just represent this lack of control that people feel internally okay so they have to kind of validate that or overcompensate for that externally and uh you running and escaping is almost saying that again you're kind of not dealing with this and afterwards you guys find yourself in a tarot class and this tarot class is uh basically a sim symbolism when it comes to doubts or queries that you could have as you face these earthly challenges let's call it and your uh strengthening your connection to the spirit realm because of that to help you again receive that divine assistance and guidance when these people or energy signatures do reveal themselves to you it's almost like you're performing alchemy by connecting with your higher self saying well what can i do with this you're coming from it uh from a more conscious place where you can almost like consciously consent in these soul contracts and again this will be through your experimental uh experimental like participation right the act of just participating and performing alchemy and coming from it uh from a much more objective place instead of looking at this situation from a limited filter of perception which would be you know why do these people keep appearing in my life you're realizing that you're being given the opportunity by this adversity revealing itself to you uh, to again almost like reinforce through action to the universe and to affirm also to yourself that you're very confident in how you choose to navigate your way when these individuals again like you can trust your discernment you can trust uh you know your intuition you can trust yourself fully when it comes to how to deal with this because it's not that the levels get easier it's that the player gets better at playing the game so I feel like again as you uh kind of awaken and ascend you have this deeper level of understanding and awareness and you can accept things very quickly for what and who they may be okay so that's pretty much what's going on there um and there was this girl that tried to gaslight you in the classroom she was saying that you were wearing foundation even though you weren't uh and she actually was so she was basically a hypocrite she was like playing the devil's advocate trying to see if she could press buttons or get a rise out of you or have you step outside of your uh character in some way and uh what you guys had in abundance she really just lacked within herself so i feel like what people hate in you is again what they lack within themselves so yeah just be aware of this people may try to conceal their real version of self in the world and they just choose to like promote their best features let's say um or features that they feel like you may like uh so again it just shows again like you being comfortable in your own skin is going to trigger others especially when this comes to your ability to create this conscious deaths um to enter into these 
uh, soul contracts. And again, a lot of these soul contracts can be with extra dimensional beings or interdimensional beings. Okay. And I'm, I'm getting a notification for analytics right now. So I feel like, you know, you've been through this experimental participation before where you, uh, you, again, it's almost like you have, uh, the experience, right? You have this on your, uh, let's call it like a multidimensional CV, right? Like check, done that. Okay. I, I know how to do this. Um, again, it's almost like you're becoming so wise, right? You're not even, people don't know your spiritual ranking at this point it's like again it's not your first rodeo um so yeah just be aware of that now at the end you guys are speaking in tongues which is called glossolalia and the first thing that I think of when this happens in the astral realm is the fact that it's very rare okay this only happens when there's like almost like spiritual warfare or people having like really bad intentions for you and you having this uh, strong connection to the divine to the creator again knowing that you are an, an infinite piece of source energy okay and you are just expressing itself subjectively in this uh again third dimension so uh this is about again your mother tongue again some of you are almost like speaking light language or connecting to you other aspects of the self that are living on alternate realities and other dimensions maybe this is about other um, galactic star, star systems that you guys are from right and you're connecting to different versions of the self across different timelines and I almost get like this vast jumping energy where you know how to connect to I don't know maybe like star systems that you're from and you know again it's almost like you can embody that version of self and um, that is uh, someone that is extremely uh, extremely powerful again it's like you're tapping into your higher spiritual ranking you're not forgetting who you are you're awakening to who you are which is helping you discard everything that you're not right um so glossolalia again is about this deep connection that you have to the divine and spiritual upgrades or transformations or that again like almost like ascension symptoms that you guys could be feeling during this time and the one of the first things that pops into my mind when i think of glossolalia is you know i grew up in the church um and you know growing up as a young person in that environment I witnessed a lot of people speaking glossolalia speaking in tongues and I remember being really really curious about this so I had asked um the minister of religion right uh which was like a family member and uh he had told me that well people speak in glossolalia when they're having that again connection to source energy they're having the connection to god and nobody else can understand it and that's what's so divine about it that's what's so sacred about it the devil cannot understand when you're speaking to god right when you're speaking to uh that connection that you have nothing can sever that connection they don't even know how to come at you they don't know when they don't know where again it's almost like that connection that you have cannot be severed it's so so powerful okay so that's basically what's going on there in the metaphysical realm you guys know how to protect this you could even be like foreseeing this or you could have like prophecies about this like nobody can fool you when you have discernment's lens nobody can again it's almost like they're fooling themselves at that point so you are mystery to others okay and the word mystery is defined by something that is hidden secretive or concealed so i feel like nobody even knows maybe even like where you're from exactly what your spiritual ranking or title is uh how you're even able to navigate like both of these realms again especially when it comes to the multi-dimensional non-physical and invisible realms you guys have already mastered that and um this is about again almost like god using you to release release secrets of this spirit into the natural realm so it's almost like a lot of you just by your own silence it is its own transmission and people recognize that light like even on an unconscious level like even if you're dealing with like petty tyrants and again people that may come in these ancient smiths or whatever that could be they recognize your light and they still can respect it in some ways but they also could envy you know you could be admired by some and envied by many because of this and it's many of those people that don't recognize them also them also being that piece of uh, source energy they're living in the illusion of separation uh, which again just leads them to uh, be in that state of survival mode and fear and have to really just overcompensate for that in some way externally uh, so yeah let's go ahead and open up with your soul's journey messages in conjunction with all of these astral travels so uh aquarius we have pride for you so i love myself and i see myself in everyone this is basically coming up for you guys because you have to love the shadow that people cannot accept within themselves in this time okay this is about you guys you know, you know what i say like personally i say well i love you okay even if you can't love yourself you know i love all the parts of you that maybe you're not capable of loving during this time um and you know 
see how quickly that triggers people <laughs> like see how quickly it triggers people like i accept you even though you may not be able to accept yourself it's like putting a mirror on somebody right in all of their shadow um in its totality and i feel like again you guys are realizing and awakening to the fact that you have come here on this uh you know multi-dimensional realm uh, to be able to leverage as a quantum being and uh for your soul's rapid expansion experience these contrasts experience these polarities experience the darkest lowest realms in order to be able to you know again experience the highest and people just see you as angels they see you as uh, again these high light vibrational beings and it's almost like the paradox is you can see the place that they've come from or that they are operating from but they cannot physically see you and that's basically what's going on there okay with uh, the whole skinwalker scene and you guys being very comfortable sitting in the dumb waiter and that's the paradox of this reality so again you have to really extend compassion to those people that have less understanding than you do because they really do need it the most even though they may not deserve it through their actions they really do need it the most so again i love myself and i see myself in everyone wasn't there a time okay where you guys were also unconscious okay and maybe you were unconsciously operating from the shadow it doesn't give an excuse but that understanding can almost like help you uh again like be proud okay of yourself and um maybe even again like extend that bit of compassion to those people as well and at least have patience you know with patience at the base right knowing that everyone uh maybe not even within this lifetime but eventually everyone will come into that level of awareness okay and sometimes people have to kind of you know hit rock bottom right hit that own personal realm of hell okay because hell is not a location it's just a plane of consciousness sometimes they really have to hit that in order to actually maybe hopefully do the work by them so let's go ahead and take a look at your wisdom of the oracle message for you guys aquarius let's see what your protection message is during this time oh we have between worlds okay hold on we have unfinished symphony at the base i believe this is the second card three third one all right let me go pick that up real quick hold on Okay, so between worlds, number three. <sighs> okay, transitions not being quite out of one situation fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. Again, you guys are done, right, with that classroom. Uh, in this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, you know, you do not experience the same circumstances again and again, okay? They just come back around to you so that you have this deeper level of awareness, right? It's not this loop, but it's this inward spiral. Because when you have that deeper level of understanding, you can also uh, heal, right? And hold more light in your being hold more truth in your being expand your consciousness and once that happens it can never return back to its old form or dimension so again it's like you can never really see the world the same way you can never really see people that you deal with the same way <sighs> okay so da, 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 da. what is essential now is to admit not knowing there is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness, greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, uh, but what services now will probably not be what you expect. When you see between the worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. So... I'm gonna go ahead and read the uh, protection message from this real quick. So be mindful of your expectations. This is not a time for guarantees. Things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate. Let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than you can imagine. So uh, I just get this vibe during this time for my Aquariuses. 
Yeah, there's something around like the prosperity message even. In your work, sometimes you try things that have worked for others, hoping that you too will be successful. When the symbol appears, it reminds you that sometimes the path to your prosperity is a gamble. Win or lose, you can learn much from what comes. Okay, so <laughs> you know what this reminds you of? It reminds you of... um. I feel like Aquarius is people are entering into your life. And again, the people that I'm talking to you are very, very uh, awakened to the true nature of this reality. Okay. That's not even something that like, comes into question in your mind. Um, but the thing that you don't know a lot of the time is, well, you have to go blind uh, as you enter into a lot of these soul contracts so that you can quite literally, again, like almost submit to them and just be open and receptive to, again, your experimental participation. But that almost is, again, like this gamble. Is God gonna, uh, or the universe again, gonna bring people into your life as, uh, you know, people that are almost like gonna be there long term? Uh, or is it gonna be some someone or something that allows you to uh, reinforce almost like those lessons, right? Uh, and almost like show yourself right that you can deal with any kind of agent smiths or any kind of petty tyrants or anyone that comes in and try to stray off of your path in some way people that try to gaslight you people that try to make you question your sense of reality you know uh is that going to be used for your character development? You know, that's almost what I get between this. And you guys are very much in between realms. Maybe you have a lot of questions around this. Uh, so, yeah, let's get one more, actually. Unfinished symphony. So you may feel like something's unfinished, right? I keep hearing the relationship message. Let me go ahead and see that real quick. The relationship message, this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It's not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't know yet if this will last forever. What did I just say? That's crazy. This is the first time I've ever read this card. So allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be... A need to does not need to be dismissed or hurried you know what it kind of reminds me of this quote that i saw I might butcher it but it says get to know your shadow and integrate it otherwise it will show up to you in your relationships you know so i feel like there's always something that you are also almost um accepting or integrating within yourself here aquarius in some way let's go ahead and get one more With building blocks so I feel like this is building you up right it's not breaking you down even though it can feel like that and we have the orphaned at the base which is all about feeling like not valued or un uh, not accepted or maybe even like left out or misunderstood you know let's go ahead and take a look at 28 real quick Okay, so 28 building blocks strong foundation a beautiful work in progress right Okay, so you have everything that you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core belief. Are they still true for you? Will you stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you like to construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive, positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. The relationship message is when you see this card, know that you're attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones that you already have by building them on the foundation of honesty humility clear communication and a genuine desire to know one another you are moving towards laying the groundwork for a relationship with a firm fitting that will ensure it can withstand any storm so i feel like this is about the foundations okay and you guys getting back to basics in regards to again kind of what uh connections whether that be to people places or things okay relationship that you have to a person or again things around you right or places even how is that supporting your mental health how is that supporting your spiritual journey right how is it supporting your journey on life and your soul's intention for coming here in the first place i feel like that's what 
spirit is helping you understand especially with neptune again retrograding during this time in pisces like all the illusions are dissolving away during this time it really uh reveals any cracks within the foundation whether these are misaligned values right um you want almost like over idealizing people right seeing potential in people that they may not even see in themselves you know um because people can only meet you as far as they've met themselves and if they can't even see the potential in themselves you know that's something that everyone has you know their own path and own timing on uh long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened you and the other person are stronger wiser and more powerful together than apart now the protection message is, is it's a time to address the cracks in the foundations of your life perhaps your values have changed and it's time to strengthen your convictions and let go of the things that no longer serve the vision that you have for your life so again picture again almost like the king of wands your visionary goals step into that king of coins energy think smart instead of work harder what do you need to discard to make that process become the most uh, uh, like efficient way possible right that journey to become the most effective and efficient way as possible and uh, then follow the king of cups like don't care about what people externally may think say or feel about you moving this particular way don't allow that to govern your internal state allow your internal state to govern whatever you do externally right he's able to extend that compassion to other people that have less understanding than he does step into your king of swords energy live in your truth your silence will be its own transmissions your actions will speak for itself you know this is really about becoming empowered during this time um so again this is about knowing that maybe some of you your relationship to someone or something as well especially if this is something or someone that you have a lot of history with uh again you've built up these analytics with right you have this pattern recognition uh maybe it was once built on values and maybe you've grown but it's in different directions you know maybe you've outgrown uh that in some way so perhaps you've chose to ignore the signs that a situation or agreement that you have entered into is not right for you remove the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity so again not compromising the roots of your being not compromising your values not settling i feel like aquarius is this is really important for you and um yeah if you feel like you're settling or you get involved and you feel like again it's something that's not serving you or your highest purpose then you can give yourself permission to remove yourself from these circumstances this life is all about holding that desire and releasing the attachment of how that may unfold you know but you'll still learn you'll learn something through that portal of uh discovery even if you feel like your judgment on somebody initially was in error you know it still led to this portal of discovery around what would better make you fulfilled okay so um now is the time for right uh, rigorous honesty for you are called to renovate and upgrade your consciousness you'll be so happy when you do spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life far beyond your imagination don't be afraid to replace what's not solid and Saturn and Neptune in retrograde together is giving you the opportunity to remove what is not solid if I'm right it's happening in your second house um which is again like reinforcing your self-esteem okay within yourself a lot of you uh, allowing you to see the value in yourself right allowing you to feel more secure and stable even if that means that momentarily you have to embrace some kind of instability you know to relook at the foundation that things are built upon because neptune is water saturn is a uh, you know again like physical constructs and foundations and this is a part of you that accepts challenge when it comes to the foundations in your life right now that aren't supporting you because water again it's going to collapse even if you try to build something on it there will be those leaks there will be something that will be rotting and molding beyond beneath the surface that you may not even see at first okay that's spiritual moral decay there um and it's time to kind of like again uproot and uh re-look at you getting back to basics in regards to what you really value you know in partnerships or what the qualities that you value within yourself and where you feel like that may be compromised as you uh again like engage in whatever this may be for you so yes uh, aquarius let's go ahead and take a look at one of these uh cards uh i want to take a look at just uh some everyday quotes for you and see what message spirit has okay we have new a cycle has ended welcome the new change is coming for good okay so that's just affirming that to you okay aquarius we have recycle old is the new <laughs> new old is the new new give it another chance revive it so again energy cannot be destroyed nor 
created, it can only be transferred or recycled. So I feel like, again, this is like um, the energy being recycled, right? Where you can experience it take place in a new circumstance or in new profound ways, right? But how can you utilize this? This is about utilizing it for your advantage. Let's see what's new for Aquarius. I don't want to keep you guys for too long. trying to give a bit of variety i know some of you like the longer reads uh i like just chilling as well okay right what what's new for aquarius all right, we have the 10 of wands and the nine of wands. So you guys are about to reach some kind of completion point. Uh, your faith has definitely been tested. You could even feel like targeted, I was hearing. Um, but again, this has been building you up to take on this, some kind of responsibility. If you received what it is that you think that you were ready for sooner, you wouldn't have been able to handle it. So again, a lot of you are being built towards this. It's led to a lot of character development, your understanding, the purpose for the painful experiences, and now you can profit for that like you can profit from it a lot of you it's a mindset right again it's like spirit has been preparing you for some kind of level up right let's go ahead and get one of these Right, we have the queen of pentacles and the two of wands which is basically again all about your foundation guys it's all about again getting back to basics in regards to what's important to you this is about your value and belief system and not compromising that because with the queen of coins she's her values are like the roots of trees right they're they're firmly anchored beneath the earth so that no matter what goes on externally she does not compromise the roots of her being or her integrity again that's not for sale um and the two of wands is mars and aries energy so i feel like you guys are very driven you're very ambitious you're very motivated you're planning preparing uh, to move forward and progress on this path right and uh almost like witness the circumstances unfolding in a way that's completely in alignment with your values and you know that you have this shared determination and willpower to see that through you know mars and aries is in its domicile it's at home here so it's almost like you could feel like actually like you're knowing yourself now better than ever especially when it comes to your preferences to desires the things that you want in qualities and people that you want to be connected to the things that you want when it comes to your purpose in life right and how you need to align your actions accordingly this is about marrying your values and belief systems and your actions all together and not having that be in this divorce state which again just leads you into uh, more on spiritual decay it's like you're accessing higher timelines by creating the sacred union of the actions and the intentions because intentions without your actions again uh, kind of reinforcing that intention is nothing okay it's like a seed uh, that's planted uh, in concrete right um so yes aquarius i wish you guys the very best of luck let's go ahead and get a timing card real quick before we close out and just see if there's any timing oh we have september this came out for you guys in uh, another reading that we had as well so this is uh actually uh virgo and libra energy so it could be virgo libra season there but take a look at september okay we are going to be approaching the second series of eclipses we have june as well so cancer gemini energy could be significant maybe it's something in between here at the base but september keeps coming out for you guys so keep a lookout for that um should we should we not okay i literally said like last one like maybe like one two three four five like maybe five or six cards ago but it's okay this is you know never let them know your next move all right so we have weeping willow family sorrow so you guys could actually be um, almost like again going through some kind of grief going through some kind of uh release or okay and uh we also have november could be significant this could be sagittarius scorpio energy we also have older women dealing with relationship with an older woman could be significant for you guys i feel like some of you this is a guy that you have in the metaphysical realm um especially with weeping willow and family sorrow not all of you but yeah you do have definitely a guy that's on the other side there somebody that may not be with you here uh in the physical realm but is watching over you uh, we have ant so work achievement success so again there is maybe something uh that you guys are doing here that you're going to experience in the second half of the year that you've been working really hard uh to to move towards we 
We have pay attention to your health. So pay attention to your health during this time. Mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, right? This is about your spiritual health as well. So just pay attention to that. We have bell. There's going to be some kind of announcement here. I'm hearing uh, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. There's something about staying ready, right? Maybe this is like keeping grounded. Yeah, because we have someone will come in and try to make you do something against your will with club. So just know that you may be again like tested in that way. But we have grapes and then we have plenty of material things. So this is a time that you guys will be celebrating, okay? I feel like this is, again, as you begin to kind of cut your losses from some kind of disappointing affair. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot that's going on there for you, Aquarius. So I wish you guys the very best of luck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. It gave you all the clarification and insight that you needed during this stage in your journey. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, do consider subscribing. Personal reading details are also down below. And if you haven't checked out your weekly readings that I do on my second channel as well, that will also be down below. If you guys are also drawn towards this beautiful deck by let go flow i have a small discount code in the description box down below as well but i wish you guys very best of luck until next time bye